Hello everybody, I hope you are all staying home and avoid dangerous virus. Today I am going to explain this problem from the code for Sysram 626, which is based on a real life competition, the Moscow Open Olympiad in Informatics. This problem asks us to find a sort of all pairwise sums of integers in the given array. Since the n is quite big, up to 400,000, we can't use the brute force method. As in, we compute all the sums and do pairwise so. Also, the numbers are not too small in order to allow us to use a frequency array, which allows us to find how many numbers are equal to a certain value and do some computations. So we need to find something more clever. Since we have to do a XOR, it is quite easy to observe that we can solve the problem separately for each bit. And if we solve the problem for a bit i, we can ignore all the bits in the higher positions because they won't help us do anything. However, we can't ignore the smaller bits because if we add up two numbers, even though none of them has bit i, if we add them up, we can eventually get bit i. More formally, for a number x and a bit i, if x is a reminder at 2 at i plus 1 is bigger or equal to 2 at i, we have bit i. Otherwise, we don't have it. This also works for the sum of two numbers. Now, let's fix one of the numbers. Let's say a. If a has bit i, a has bit i, then we have the following two cases. Either b is reminder a two a i plus one add it up with a is reminder a two a i plus one. is smaller than 2 at i plus 1. So we eventually get the bit without going over the limit. Or this sum is bigger or equal to 2 at i added with 2 at i plus 1. Basically, we go over the limit and we manage to get once again the bit i. Otherwise, if a doesn't have bit i, we can get only to the first case because we can't add something uh, bigger than 2 at i plus 1 in order to get to this sum. How are we going to compute now the numbers uh, which respect the following property? There are quite uh, a few methods to do it. Two of the most commonly used methods in the context were the following. We either sort the numbers in increasing order of their reminder and do some binary searches or we can use some data structure like segment tree or family tree in order to handle update and queries of the following things like how many numbers are in a given range more formally let me explain let me write the ranges First of all, x, if x is reminder at 2 at i plus 1 is smaller than 2 at i, then the reminder for the other number has to be in the following range 2 at i minus x is reminder at 2 at i plus 1. So we get a bit. 
at a deposition i and it can be uh, bigger than it can be bigger or equal to the following number 2 i plus 1 minus x x is reminded uh, 2 at i plus 1 basically this is a range where we include the first number but we don't include the last number let's know this with a in order to make the notation easier. Now, if a is bigger or equal to 2 at i, so we have the bit i, then the other number has to be in either in range 0, 2 at i plus 1, minus a, again open in the right and closed in the left, or in the following range, 2 at i plus 2 at i plus 1 minus a, again open, 2 at i plus 1. This time, again closed. Why closed in the right hand? Because if we let the y open in the right hand, excuse me. Because if we let them closed, then we wouldn't have the bit on the position i, but we would have the bit on the position i plus 1, which doesn't, which doesn't comply to the observation we are going to try to make. How, are, how is this going to help us find the bitwise store of all the values? If we add up all the numbers for each number, which give us the following, which respect the following relations, we are going to find a number, let's say number. If this number is odd, then we have bit i in the store. Because 1 store 1 is 0, 0 store 1 is 1. This is a symbol through a table. XOR table and that's why we are going to use this property. Now that we came up with these observations, we can now use our favorite data structure or algorithm and implement this. In order to make the implementation easier, now we are going to drop from each number the bit i if we have it in order to make the computation easier for the smaller numbers. As you can see, I managed to get accepted using this method using a quite simple code. As you can see here, I wrote a Fenwick tree because it's easier for me to write a Fenwick tree. And I Iterate it down from the 2 to 24 because the sum of two numbers can go up to 2 uh, 7, 2 or 10 at 7, which is bigger than 2 at 24 but smaller than 2 at 25. Now we are going to add all of the reminders to the Fenwick tree and uh, handle the queries described in the sketch pad. I hope you are all enjoying this problem and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.